From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Nights in America, back in Hollywood, Florida at Seminole Hard Rock for day two. It's Chris Hansen with Joe Stapleton. Coming up tonight, we know Jennifer Tilly's meal ticket is the curse of Chucky, but on tonight's show, we'll see if she can lift the curse of Poker Night in America. Also, Jessica Dolly takes her sweet, sweet time. It's a dolly dilly dally tonight. <laughs> Let's get to the table. Let's get back to day two, shall we? Right now, the big stack at the table is Tom Marchese. He's got 38,000 bucks in play in front of him. He and Aaron Mermelstein proving for the umpteenth time that being popular in high school is inversely proportional to how good you are at poker. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. In case you're new to Poker Night in America, blinds are 25 and 50 this cash game. You're in tournament mode. That's right. Good tournament, girl. Pedal to the metal. Oh, I was in tournament mode. I played that's Matt Berkey in there. starts us with a raise to 250 with King Seven of Hearts. That's Jennifer Tilly. Welcome back. Calling with eight deuce of hearts, Jennifer. That's so Tilly. Jen. Jen A. Nobody even comes close to the table. Come on now. My left who has like eight K. Here you go. I open under the gun with kings. And. Uh, under the gun, one cold call. Dan Swede gets and involved with ace six folded. of diamonds. He folds an ace. Eight six sweeted. Flop is three seven eight. <laughs> Somehow Jen flops oh. the best hand with the so, eight deuce. Another guy shoved. Yeah, I got top pair. Right. Check this out. She's oh, raising. Hundred or so. Comes back to me. I call. Under the gun just rips. Hey, when you hit the board this hard, you got to get some value out of it, right? Wow. Like the dumbest thing I've ever been a part of. Trying to push out those king sevens and ace sevens. What she does not do on the flop. She wants a call from king seven and she got it. <laughs> and oh, she turns man. two pair. You know, watching this is more dangerous for the kids at home than watching Jackass. Do not do this. But roll down the hill in a shopping cart, totally cool. This is akin to that, playing eight deuce. 1700 bet here from Tilly. I don't want to hear these kids saying, oh, but Jen Tilly did it on TV. No. Berkey keeps on calling. Do you live in Florida full time now? Yeah, I have for like the past five years from Vegas to here. Oh, okay. I, just, I love this lifestyle a lot more. Oh, so that makes it a little bit harder for Jen to go to value. Chip. Yep. Straights and flushes came in on the river. Oh, Matt Berkey. No, no, no. It was eight deuce, man. It was eight deuce. Oh, Did you see better. that? It was eight deuce. Where's the reaction? Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Swede, very active. Doesn't matter what cards he has or what position he's in, he's playing a lot of poker here today. He's a fun one. Well, oh, those are two aces for Jessica Dolly. And you better believe you're gonna three bet that under the gun raiser all the live long day. Swede with the crackers. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, 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 no. By the reaction to my co-host here, as you can clearly see, Jessica Dolly got a little out flopped. And of course she is betting into the full house. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, no. Uh, Stapes, it's not over yet. She's still got some options. Actions on Dolly. Yeah, just oh. I mean, obviously not Seven? Flopped it. Flopped it. You flopped it? We well, have to turn over anyway, so. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. She's gonna get there on the river. Here it comes. 
<laughs> ah, no. 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 Ah, no. Is she rebuying? Is she rebuying? Oh, she's reaching for the microphone. I don't think so. Ah, no. ah. I knew that was not. I knew that was not the answer you were looking for. Yeah, Je Jessica's gonna be leaving, Steve. So that's. I think that's gonna be it. I don't think I can stay. Sorry about your rough day, Jessica. One of us is taking it a little better than the other one. We've got more poker when we come back. Hello, it's Phil Helmuth here in the Kimo Sabi Mezcal Lounge talking to Liv Bury, great poker player and rock star, no. Well, you, you play a little bit. I used to want to be a rock star. Uh, you're right, yeah, I used to. I want to be a rock star. Yeah, I, uh, I used to play a lot. When we first met you know, on that TV show years ago, I was very into metal at the time and I was always playing and I actually thought I was going to become a rock star. My goal was to, you know, I wanted to travel the world, make money and be my own boss and music seemed like the way to go. And then poker came along and I'm like, wait, I can also travel the world, make good money, be my own boss and I get to play this awesome game at the same time. So in the end, poker star won out over rock star. Let's have a little chemo sabi mezcal yes, and please. toast rock and poker. Bringing people together. It was a four hour show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Poker Night in America. From here at the Seminole Hard Rock in Florida, Jessica Dolly. Yeah, I'm not quite over it yet, so let's just focus on the poker. Good. Welcome back. Sorry. What was that 15 minutes? Switching? Just starting to calm down again. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was cool. You know, I think cool. I bought a cell phone plan from Matt Berkey was, uh... once. What did you say? You, what did you say? You did Twitch, 15 minute Twitch session? You mean watching us? Yeah. I watched you guys. How did you do that? How did I, I didn't even notice you were gone from the table. It was like I time traveled. No, it was on like dinner. I, it was on, on the break. break. Yeah. Yeah. It's not half hour delay. It was pretty cool. Right. Kid does his own work. Yeah, I got to see how you guys play. That's this clever. is That's why I'm re-raising here. I was just resting my brain. I saw you guys. I ate three granola bars. I saw, Je <laughs> I saw Jen bluff me with the king queen. Yeah, I didn't Oh, and then you just got to see what I called you on the river with. <laughs> Pocket ends? You'd like, you'd be yeah. before that. Yeah. Uh, ah, Jen, <laughs> you're gonna have to wait your yeah. turn. This isn't all chaos, like trying to board a flight yeah. on Southwest. Well, I told you that. You didn't tell me that. What a dilemma. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, I did. It would make sense, though. Yeah. yeah. Cool, and do you think? I'm not stopping you. I'm not stopping you. I'm just gonna drink this drink super confidently. He's in for 800 with pocket jacks. Man, how good is Tom? Not even, he doesn't even need to get texted hands. What? <laughs> he just knows even if they go in the muck. I don't know, just based off of some things that make sense. I like taking a more passive line here. I don't think there's any need to try to get it all in against what could be a monster to your direct right. Joe Stapleton's what we like to call passive regressive. <laughs> There's some orange in front of her. Is she okay? She's just throwing one of them out there to call. Oh, we're gonna see. I already, hammer. I already can't wait to see this on the stream <laughs> or on our show on TV. That, <laughs> I, that I didn't. Like an old person watches. Come on. Berkey flops top set. So now Jen is losing. The good news is she gets to play a smaller pot now than if she put in another bet pre-flop. Yeah, it's either you raise pre-flop or you call pre-flop. Either way, Ace King never wins here. Just never, ever seems to win. And she just made oh. a liar out of me because she's now raising. Oh, my. I guess she could get some better hands to fold, just not this one. Bergy calls. Really hope Jen's gotten all the information she needs. Uh, she does pick up a gut shot to the nut straight. Berkey's probably not loving that heart, but he isn't gonna go all crazy and cheap out on us. A $5,000 bet. Let me just play this hand. In one chip, love it. Whoever's in the booth, I'm sure they're saying, wow, she really <laughs> made some bad choices <laughs> the way. That even got a chuckle out of Berkey. Here. They might be telling you you're playing like a genius. Uh, well, no, not at this point. No, I'm just talking. 
coming to terms with loss. <laughs> <laughs> so Makes you feel any better. I was betting all turns. He's like, wait, I'm in the yeah. hand. And it was like, the rattle, 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 like in the bushes. And I was like, why is he taking so long to play his cards? You were sitting there all quiet like a snake, like, I'm going to be really quiet. She won't even see me. Wow. I'm terrible with hand histories. I just remember the expression on his face, that's all I remember. <laughs> Does it still <laughs> haunt your dreams? <laughs> no, it's the entertaining part. <laughs> that's sort of like, all like happy and then sad. <laughs> Marchese raising things with Queen suited. There's a three bat from Berkey with Jax again. Gentilly cold calling the three bet with two eights. Oh, hello. I've always weirdest. wondered what the inside of Dan O'Brien's nose looked like. The weirdest card peak I've seen in a long time. All right, back to king queen suited. Three players together to the flop. With 1,500 in the middle. And here is the flop brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mescal. The flop is five, nine, six. Gentilly's gonna like that flop, but she is behind. She's bet a thousand. Berkey raising. 2,700 total is the bet. Tilly calls. Did you make that backpack? No. no. I got it in Galapagos. Oh, really? No, I'm inspired to go. You think I, I'm impressed that you think I'm talented enough to make that, though, man? Yeah, it looks, it looks like uh, hand, handmade, so. Thanks, man. <laughs> Galapagos, where, that's Africa? Where's no, that? That's Asia? A, it's, a, it's in Ecuador. It's really uh, not. I mean, it's I mean, Ecuador. It's, it's off the side. Yeah, it's like hundreds it's of miles own, west. It's own island. And yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like all kinds of like. Even though Berkey raised the flop, Jen's leading turn is playing out of flow. Typically, she would check to the last aggressor. This is not usually a move players make when they're super strong. Berkey calls. Unable to really mate elsewhere, so it's a very centered spot. So it's kind of a, it's a great spot to study evolution, which is yeah, you can see where Darwin did it. Sea turtle. And the one card that could have given Jan a chance to get away just paired. Now she's going to think her eights are maybe good again. They're so cool. Wonder if Berkey's going to be betting for value. You went there recently? I'm yeah. guessing he is, or he would have already I mean, checked. Yeah. It's a good time? Yeah. Latin America's dope, man. A lot of, it's a lot of, long flight, though, right? All right, wait. Um, from Florida, I think it's like six hours or something. Just for getting to Galapagos, and then from there you take Did you just say Galapagos? Yeah, Everyone like knows it's hours. called Galapagos. Like Jeez, Dan, read a it's book. A bad boat. Whenever I travel to the Galapagos, really I go by boat. You know, I just can't handle like those little propeller planes. Why would you re-raise me? Unless you think I'm a bluffer. I'm not a bluffer. I was gonna re-raise pre-flop with my fantastic hand. What the f I'm like the worst player in the world. Why would you raise on the turn? I can't imagine you bluff me. Are you bluffing me? Oh. He's not bluffing. I said you had jacks. But you called. Oh. I just thought he couldn't possibly have connected with that flop. I thought he might have a king queen or something like that. So money went in, and then more money went in, and then more money went in, and then I just went on raging tilt. I mean, thank God the show ended when it did, because I would either be back to even in half an hour or stuck 100K. <laughs> I am so f***ing annoyed. I always lose on Poker Night in America, and I was back to even. I was a little bit up. I was going to do like Jessica Dolly and leave. No, don't remind me. <laughs> Staves, it's over. <laughs> it's forgot. over. I just forgot about it. Uh, We've got more Poker Night in America when we come back. Somebody is definitely off the rails. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. Is she coming back?
I don't, I don't think so. I think she's leaving. Are we? She's done. Are we coming back? We're going to come back. Okay, all right. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, where it is Jennifer Tilly's last chance to turn it around for the day, and we're all really pulling for her. Come on, Jen. You can do it. No, I have to win on TV. I don't care about $12,000. <laughs> it's my pride that's at stake. Oh, my oh, God. Man. I would do a 12K flip with you at the end, except I just know you want it bad enough that no. I'll never win. I have to, no, I have to win it. I have to win it through sheer... Sheer force. Grit. Sheer wiliness and grit. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe another Poker Night in America is coming to an end and I'm in the red again. You know what goes further than wiliness and grit? No one can. Having I, the I, best hand. That, that does help <laughs> with winning in poker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think half the issue is that you keep records. Marchese raises <laughs> yeah, to records. 150 never, and he gets a call from Tilly. Oh, Jen. Out of the big blind. Uh, please don't hit. Oh, oh Jen. No. <laughs> They're like... Jennifer is down this amount, like really, really accusing. <laughs> <laughs> you get real bad at that. Like so you can't get total through all your shit. <laughs> they could be bribed to change that amount. Right. Oh, or okay. Uh, you guys over here. Thank you. Thank you. Bet Nicole. Till he does not improve. Holy cow. 700 and a quick call. <laughs> Dust Devil Jen. We're on a hand for hand now. It's really go Steve. fast. How many hands did they say? I don't know yet. They haven't said. Oh, that is. Fifteen hundred. The bet. We just vote six. From Tilly. Clean. And a call. This is so unfair, Mark Casey. <laughs> I know. It's no, I agree. That's, that's bull bullshit. Bullshit. That's bullshit. I agree. I <laughs> <laughs> would be so much fun. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is not Tom. the way you manufacture big pots. What? One, it's one not? day, what? when Just I have the all the money, mm -hmm. I'm gonna invite you to my game. <laughs> <laughs> my businessman game. You'll be invited. Oh, man. Although the elusive businessman that everyone always promises will be at their game. Yeah. Poker will have a sad state of affairs if that elusive businessman is Dan O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> That was your plan all along, huh, Marchese? Yeah, I've just got, got you guys in there weak. Raise it up. What? I feel like I should defend my blind, my straddle. I think you're supposed to defend your straddle. Yeah, I've heard that. You could. All right, here comes right. the flop. <laughs> I hope you crush him. I hope Me I have aces. You haven't left. Okay. I looked at it just now. Oh, yeah. Full double I'm uh -huh. going for. All right. Ah, oh, boy. Oh. Jen doesn't hit it, but Marchese sure does. Is it possible to not flop a set against Jennifer Tilly? Has anyone ever tried? I don't know. Jen's got the open-ended straight draw, so she picks up some outs on the turn. I kind of want Jen to suck out here. I think she's earned it. I hate the feeling that Jennifer Tilly has right now because we've all had it at the poker table. You know that the night is running out, and you just so badly want everyone's money to come your way, and you just know secretly it's not. It's not happening. Why can't I get dealt aces and everyone else oh. big pocket pairs and aces hold and I win all the money? Because that never happened. <laughs> the bet was 1700 We get a call. Oh, she's got a call now. Uh, come on. Ugh, nothing. Yeah, I know that looks like the king of clubs, but those clubs are actually three tiny stuck-together bricks. I almost felt guilty when I saw a flop. What? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> so, so stupid. Sick. God, I wish I sucked out on you. Me too. No way to get cards with bigger, uh, bigger numbers on them. I'll tell you something, I got a good hand. I got a good hand, big shot. Just telling you right now. 
You wouldn't do well in prison, but you're doing great here. You're a little pretty. A little pretty. Throw a wig on you and yodel. What do you think? It's not amazing. Can I show Jennifer? Yeah. Are you at? Oh, yeah. Who said uh, negative? I'm at, I, he, he can show Did you get the 20 bucks or not? Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Do we count our money? Does somebody count it for us? Uh, I'm used to people doing things rich. for me. Oh, rich. Sneak some chips, chips in now. Day two comes to an end, and it looks like Tom Marchese is making the most of his first ever appearance on Poker Night in America. Boy, that's a short list. I assume the next one's going to be longer. No! Ah, oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. You okay, dude? Okay, um, uh, we've got up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For Chris Hansen and Joe Stapleton, thanks for watching. You okay, man? No. No! 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 Not okay. Not okay. Excuse me. Not okay. Ha, ha, ha.